All right, we're live. It's Bateman. Midday is August 19th, 2020. And yeah, I, I got this thing at a little bit different angle than normal. Uh, I've got so much crap going on in the bait room that I just couldn't get perfectly straight. So I kind of got this diagonal thing going. But anyways, guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you never joined me before, so what I like to do, I like to stream live. We talk about bass fishing. We talk about baits. Uh, we've talked about everything on here. We've talked about poops. So um, that's what we're going to do. And I've got a little unboxing to do uh, live for midday on this Wednesday. i got got this awesome package from the Hookup Tackle that uh, looks like Ace Ventura delivered to me. Uh, I'm sure it was not. And then uh, I got another package in from Six Cents Fishing, of course. Got some more Vega Frogs and some new colors. So uh, I think I'll show it to you guys. But So welcome into the stream. I'm really tired. I have not been to bed since uh, about 6 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Uh, worked a full 10 and a half hours at work. Uh, took me a shower and uh, did some errands. And I said, you know what? It's midday. Uh, let's stream. Um uh, Hopefully nobody's having any audio issues or anything. I, I play with my mic quite a bit before I jumped on here. So let me pull up the chat here so I can say hello to you guys. What's up, Joe uh, Tippett? Austin Brown, what's up, Austin? I got I got a buddy named Austin Brown. He's a hammer on Kentucky Lake as well. Uh, great guy. Um that's right, Colin J, first like. Appreciate that. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Uh, I, you know, didn't have as many views on the midday. I did Monday as I normally do, but that's kind of understandable, to be honest with you. you know, I make three videos get, and get 1,000 likes. It's all the same as making one video and getting 3,000 views. So uh, I'm glad that uh, you guys want to join me uh, for your lunch break. or Maybe you're off today uh, for a midday stream, but... Uh, Cole and Jay, man, have, if y'all have any doubt about the Vega Frog, just watch Cole's videos. Smash them on that pickle breath, so. Holla holla, make your dollar. Yeah, I made I made pretty good last night. I'll be on overtime tomorrow, so make a cool about 350 bucks. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I got a little... I got, I got some stuff. I got to shut this door. Uh, one, somebody's mowing, which no big deal. Two, there's a lady down the street. She's been screaming at kids all morning. Uh, this Karen is absolutely going insane. I think she might be beating her children. Uh, and I'm kind of afraid to tell her to be quiet because she might kill me. Let me shut my door. All right, so... I don't look that tired because I've drank a pile of Mountain Dew and uh, Bateman Jr. Um, let me get a little bit of nap before he decided to get on the Xbox. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's uh, unbox this from the Hookup Tackle. And uh, first thing I got uh, right here, Hookup Tackle's great people. They're out in Arizona. Uh, I don't get a discount or nothing. They just take care of me. There's my receipt, so... Piss Swimbait's opinion. They got a lot of hype, uh, but uh, they do work. A lot of hype on the piss. So anyway, first bait I got was something I, I've, I've, I've kind of been looking at for a while. And yes, this is a $20 buzz bait. This is the Mega Bass. Let me flip that other light on there. Get that other light. Get a little background feel on this. I think they're done mowing too, so if they're done mowing, I'm good. That natural light coming in from the side makes this thing look better. Kind of makes me look a little skinnier too. What's up, St. Chris? So, uh, this is the Jam Jamaica Boa. I think I pronounced that right. Um, and it's a pretty unique uh, buzz bait. I haven't thrown it in my pool, but just from the looks here. Me, I'm gonna have to scissor this thing. The Grande Bass makes some pretty good stuff, body burner. Um, you know, for twenty dollar buzz bait though, they they kind of went with some five dollar package or fifty cent packaging on this thing. But 
whatever. I mean, I'm sure it hangs nice, but God, now I can't get this. I'd like to get this out so we can all see it. I didn't have a chance to really go through this yesterday because FedEx showed up late, and by the time they showed up, I had to go to work. Uh, I'm just going to have to jack this whole thing up. Uh, so, review part one of this buzz bait. Do not like the packaging. By the time I get this son bitch out, I'm gonna have the skirt ruined. Goodness gracious, Mega Bass! What is you doing, Mega Bass? What is you doing? All right. So pretty simple here. Um, a hot Harriman skirt. So if you'll notice on the shank of here, it's got this little brass, I'm going to say bead, almost a clacker. So yeah, that's going to make a ton, ton of noise. One thing I'll notice, look how long the shaft is on this buzz bait. It's very long. Shaft. You can ask my wife about those long shafts. Anyway, I'm just kidding. That was a lie. I hope my wife's not watching. One thing that's cool about this buzz bait, now is it worth $20? Uh, I'm not sure, but it's kind of cool how it, the skirt it has those four long pieces right there. So you really don't need a trailer on this. Um, the hook is a moderate length, though I would like to see a little bit longer hook. Uh, but that is a very big profile buzz bait. Let's just uh, compare it to... One I throw quite a bit. This is a prototype lures buzz bait, similar to the Booger Man. Yeah, that that Mega Bass buzz bait. That's huge. That's big, but it's definitely instead of a head knocker action, it's actually hitting the wire. So one thing I would kind of wonder is after a long day fishing, would it weaken this wire or this area? Uh, probably not. It's a really thick gauge wire, but definitely really cool. I'm gonna have to toss that in the pool here in a little bit just to see how that sounds and runs but you know sometimes I can't pass down the mega bass but a lot of good detail you know in the eyes and all that I think it's called white python that was also my nickname in high school boys I got the dad dad jokes today um, probably not gonna be able to put that sucker back in the box uh-oh Neely where are you at I think I think the bait girls here what are you doing, Nilly? You got clothes on? No. Okay. My daughter woke up, but she don't have no uh, clothes on. You know, she's a little girl. So, all right, what else we get? So this is a really cool bait uh, from Reaction Innovations. I don't think a lot of people know about this bait. Uh, but if you like a fluke, uh, this is the Reaction Innovations Shiver Glide. So... I had a couple purposes for this. One, uh, you can use it as a chatter bait um, trailer, which I'm probably not going to do. But uh, this, I feel like this would be a really good uh, bait on the back of a scrounger. And of course, you can also use it like a soft plastic jerk bait slash fluke. Um, kind of like the glimmer blue, this color is called Frozen. Uh, it's got a hook pocket on the bottom so you can rig it weedless, but uh, I've heard a few guys say this is a really really good bait very overlooked So uh, I wanted to give it a try and they're a pretty good price and um, Yeah, so I got some ideas uh, for that guy right there. I really like that color uh, You can kind of use that about anywhere you want to That is the porn star buzz bait so Nate Swan, any inside information on Fluke Master? He appears to be seriously off his game. You know, I know Fluke pretty well, and uh, I haven't talked to him in quite a while, but it can be very easy to get burned out. And I feel like he may be getting burned out a little. Oh, Dad Gummit, come here. Right All right, you want to sit right there? Yeah. All right. The bait, the bait, the bait girl's Whoa, here. That's my you come sit by daddy? That's my 
Well, come say hi to everybody. Like, look at those baits. Look at all those baits. Hey, look, there's you. Yeah. Sit right here. Sit right here. Stand up. Here. Uh, Daddy? Here. Daddy, Daddy. You're on the bait show right now. See? See Neely on the bait show? Guys, welcome to Bait Girl Ann. She had to come see her daddy. Oh, daddy. All right, I got to show him some baits. Whoa, that's So speaking cool. of frogs. Uh, frogs. Yeah, we got frogs. Well, What's you find frog? one too? Show them. What's that? It's red. It's red? Yeah. No, it's white. Uh, this is a really oh, sweet. Look at that fish. Yeah. That's a big fish. This is uh, a really sneaky frog. Uh, if you guys talk about this. Uh, this Whoa. is. Hey, wh one? whose show is this anyway? Is this mine or your show? My show. Your show? It's oh, okay. It's it's, it's Bait Girl it's Show. It's purple. No, a 5 4 to 1 is not too slow for a C10 and C15. Uh, there's a lot of people that talk about using high gear ratio reels for cranking, the only way to go. Uh, I don't Look, see. Oh, that's our bait. Whoa, that's cool. That is cool. You know what that's called? Can you have it? Whoa. No, it's got big hooks. So that's the depth slither K. That is and if you guys really like a walking frog, <gasps> Look at that one. this thing walks Look at that unreal. One, it is, does have a very smaller profile, and that is, this is um, mine. a little bit of fur. Uh, on the back, but it's so soft it claps so easy. Now, Guys, it's not a mine. good mat frog because Guys, it's not I very heavy. No, no, Daddy, what is this pencil? You got a bug. Let me get that bug. No one wants to see that booger. Ugh. But uh, Depth Slither K got that one. They, they get kind of hard That's to get. Cool. That's cool. Oh, I'll show them that. What is that? That's purple. That's purple? It is purple. What are you going to do with that? Look at that. Huh? That's mine. That's yours? I don't think so. That's, that's my fret. Hmm? This is fret. Uh, mm, that's a pink one. Yeah, I'll that's show them the pink one, okay? That's or do you want to show them the purple one? The purple one. Okay. The purple one. Neely wants, wants y'all to see this. So this is the drippy. This is, uh, that's from, the drippy. That's the drippy. That's from OSP. Whoa. Uh, which is uh, Osprey Spiritual Performer. If you didn't know. This is a JDM bait, and it's very similar to the Tekel Frog. Ooh, look at that bait. But it's That's actually cool. about half the size, and I couldn't tell you the name of the Whoa, color. It just is DP07, but Man, this was a collaboration with Tekel Baits. And uh, let me open this up here a little bit. Yeah. You want to open it, Neely? Yeah, I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Whoa. Whoa. I want it. And so, what's unique about this bait, I don't lose those, is you actually use a EWG, small EWG hook uh, to rig it up. So, you know, you're right, right down the center. And then you've got a little spinning Whoa, that's cool. You've got that's your tail a... separate and it spins. Whoa, so, tail, uh, very, Daddy. very unique on that. That's a um, tail. Let's see that? here. I can't read Japanese. Whoa, look at those. But you basically put a swivel, it looks like, it looks on like the back, on the back Daddy. of your hook. So, you put a swivel on the back of your hook with a screw lock and you screw this into it so of course they don't give you all that stuff but very unique I'd like to throw this because it's very small um, can you get this drink out of here huh can you get this drink out of here can you get the drink out of here yeah I will later that's gross that's very gross yeah it comes with a hook but it needs uh, you have to get you have to get the uh, swivel and stuff so that part I'm kind of disappointed in. I would figure if they're going to send this you a bait, finger, um, you that, need um, to have all the stuff this with is it. Finger, um, that good. This is finger. All the stuff is in the box. Well, I'm looking here. Whoa, where are those bags? Oh, okay, yeah. 
side of the box. There you go. There's your little screws and stuff. I got you. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. I have a tendency to overlook stuff. So, I bought a Dobbin 683 spinning rod. Can you recommend a good size, real and size? I like the uh, I, I like the Daiwa Tatula LT 2500 or uh, hey, find you a used Stratic CI4. That's about the best. Hey, look at that one. Look at what? That brown one. That brown one? Yeah. That's a six cents frog. Oh my. Oh my. That's what they say. It has a tail on it. It has a tail. What color is that frog? That brown? That's brown, yes ma'am. Alright, you wanna talk about this frog? This frog, that is pink. What color is this frog? Pink. Pink? Yeah. Dang, you're good. Whoa, Favorite that? hollow belly, oh, bass tricks, wait, hands oh down. Gosh, look at that thing. There's bass tricks and then there's everybody else. Yeah. Uh I don't throw a lot I I really don't throw smash tech. I don't know much about them. Look so, at that. Look at all those baits. Yeah. All right, here's your pink frog, Neither. What do you think yeah. about that? I want to hold it. You want to hold it? Be very careful. Oh, this is cool. That it's cool? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the Depths uh, Buster K. This color Buster is K. called Visible Black. Oh, it has eyes. It does have eyes. That's kind of scary. It's kind of scary? Yeah. kind of looks like the Predator a little bit. kind of like a Predator a little bit. But uh, they call it Visible Black because it's got this bright... It has a bright bright pink line on it and they do that so you still get a light. black profile but you can still see it neither you don't have to yell it has light it does somebody's probably going to comment and complain about neely talking which is the sad part because they did that Whoa, when batman jr was that age but um, the buster k is what? a really good little popping frog and it truly popping pops frog. again these depth frogs are super collapsible. Now, I will tell you that sometimes you can only get about four or five fish out of one of these, but it gets some really, really good bites. Uh, if you've been watching Major League um, Fishing, Zach Burge dominates with this right here. So shout out to ZB. He'll even tell you he throws this frog a lot. That's cool. That is cool. You like cool stuff? Yeah. But kind of had to get that stuff for the big stream Saturday night. We're going to talk about frogs. Matter of fact, I'm going to get on TW uh, after the stream, and I'm going to make a little order. So if you got any hey, frog recommendations, let me know. There? But I'm going to hey, kind of go with there? what I know. So, we get anything else from the hookup tackle? No. No, that was it. So that's what I got. Some depths frogs. Uh, the drippy. I do look a little rough, but I do have some cute kids. You're right. Whoop. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just dropped it. Okay. Look at these baits. Whoa, cool. Whoa, cool. Yeah. You are a hype beast. <laughs> Give me, hey, can I have a kiss? No. Give daddy a kiss. No. I look at those. You got to give me a kiss on the bait show. Look at that big fish. Yeah. Look at the big fish. Those are bunches of baits. That was, uh, Sean, that was the Buster K. Uh, Hookup uh, Tackle has a pretty good stock really on them right now. And they did get the care of frogs back in. Dude, it happened before Joe Tippett. It happened before. Uh, dude, Byron Velvet was an awesome guy. Awesome dude. So, Yeah, Hookup Tackle has the care of Tackle Warehouse. Got it back in stock. I really like that frog. Yeah, it's a go really good. Here. It sounds like she got into him a Mountain Dew. She just woke up, so Neely sleeps quite a bit. Yeah. She loves to sleep. You like to sleep? No. No? I sleep in my own bed. You sleep in your own bed? Yeah. Are you a big girl? Huh? I like all those baits. Do you like being on a bait show? I like all those baits. Did you fix your own hair? No. No? I got a haircut. What's up, Todd Smith? Thanks for joining. So, guys, make sure you hit the thumbs up on this. Uh, these midday streams are only like going to be like 35 to 45 minutes long. Nothing crazy. Uh, maybe some little unboxings that, you know, I don't want to wait until Saturdays to do. And, you know, Saturday night's kind of my big night where we just pick a topic. But, hey, we're not done with frogs yet. Six cents. Load me down. More Vega frogs, 
dude, this uh, dark water pooch. Dark water pooch is this one. Ooh, man, now this is uh, that gum. That's look at look how good this frog looks, right? It's like a metallic silver silverish blue. Yeah, you can see here. Look at this frog, Neely. Whoa. What color is ice? What color is this? Uh, it's um blue and green. Why don't you get over here closer to me so they can see you? See, see you? Yeah, that. Um, it's blue. It's blue and black. Black. It's black and, and white. It has a tail. Yeah. So this one's called dark water pooch, man. I really like this. This. This color is sick. Uh, I like a black frog quite a bit, uh, but I like this little white belly on it. Look at all uh, those up here. Snakehead. So they do got some more new colors in stock on Six and Fishing. I got some more coming too. So I pretty much got the gambit. Um, very soft body on this. Very soft. Turn the camera to my right. Camera I kind of like it off center. Kind of like it off center. Put that one back in the box here. What's up, Philip Jones? So, Philip Jones, who is in the chat, he is the guy that designed that, that, that. these frogs for six cents. Uh, Philip, you did an excellent job. Those frogs. Everybody tell Philip how awesome he is so his head can get like this big. Uh, but remember. So, this one is called Hazel Mutt. Uh, now see, I like this. I told y'all I like me some red frogs. This is kind of a brown, uh, brownish. It's got a gray top. Woo. I like that. I like me. It's kind of got a red brown look to it. Hey Nils, where are you going? Look at this frog. What color is that? It has eyes. It has eyes. Yes. She's, she's lost sense or she's seen other baits, but I like this hazelnut color. Very natural, very natural. I like the natural colors, nothing too loud. Um, I really like the tails on these things. So. They definitely come a long way from the prototype I had. Uh, the texture is a lot different from the one Philip sent me like a year and a half ago. Um, I know so many people have been waiting on these frogs. It's ridiculous, but... Uh, Slow down? Yeah, I did. I did or you did? Yeah. Okay. But I just went faster. Go faster? All right. Let's see what else we got in here now. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. cool. What color is that, Neely? Oh, that's all the baits. What color is that? White. White? Yeah, yeah. it's white. It has a tail. I'm not going to go too crazy with a white frog. Everyone kind of knows you got to have a white frog in your it staple. Has a white I do like the red eyes on it. it. Makes it look pretty, pretty Whoa. unique. What else we got? You pick, get one out of there, Nils. <laughs> Here, you want me to turn the camera this way? Oh, there's the bait girl. There's that. Oh, you want that one? Yeah. What color is this one? White. I don't think it's white, Neely. I think it's um. Dude, I'd love to get a wade frog. Right. Sure would. It's a wade frog. Ooh, what color is that? Um, red. Red eyes, but what, what color is that belly? That, um, belly. Belly. What about the back? What color is that? Is that green? Yeah, green. And yellow? Yeah. Yeah, see, Whoa, we learned colors red, on here. Red, this red, one red. color is called Frogville. Oh, dude, this one looks like Ooh, it would get freaking so smashed. Cool. Uh, so one thing about the, I will say, look at the detail in the colors. It's not just a green and yellow frog. Well, I love that there's frog. just a little hint of a blue hue there right below the eye on that frog. Um, not right there. Again, these things are so soft and you've got that little weight transfer, or not weight transfer, weight back here. This helps to cast, but seals this frog up so they don't hold water. Um, it don't hold water, dude, Daddy. That's probably going to be my favorite. For looks, that is definitely 
a good one. But, you know, Matt Allen and Tim, they swear by a frog with a chartreuse belly. Um, you can trim the tails. That's a good question, Shadow Bass. And personally, I don't trim my tails a whole lot. I might take a quarter inch out of that. If I'm going to go fishing mats, though, I might trim everything but an inch of that. I mean, real short. Uh, if I was going to go fish mats at Gunnersville or something like that, I'd trim it really, but really short. But the good thing about the way show. Philip has designed this frog, the hooks are so far back, it's still weedless. If a fish was to come out of mat and grab it, it's going to get hooked up. This is a really good hook right here. Is this, I mean, it's a heavy well, cover frog, but it's going to walk really it good open has water. A tail. It has a tail? Yeah. What color is the tail? Um, brown. Brown. I don't think it's brown, but good, but good try. You like being on the bait show? Yeah? Yeah. Did you draw on yourself again? No. No? That's not ink on your... So that is not ink on you? No. I, what is that? Huh? That white. I think it's um, brown. Okay, I gotta shut Yeah, you know, I, even though, uh, you know, Six Sense takes care of me and, and they're good people, I'm not going to go claim anything's the best ever because that's a really bold statement. But I will be really honest with you guys, just from playing in my pool and fishing uh, around the pond locally, um, the frog's really good. Like, I would probably put in the top five frogs out there. Now, of course, I like playing with all kinds of crazy JDM stuff and whatnot, but a solid day in, day out, this is this is one you got to have. Now, that's a brick critter. I've got one of those, so I've got an extra one of these, so I think we may just give this one away uh, on Instagram or whatnot. So, man, I, I got more frogs in here. Oh, man, this one's pretty nice here. Baby bullfrog. There's a purple one. There's a purple one in there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Woo! Baby bullfrog. Now, this one's pretty sexy, too. It's a baby frog. What color is that belly? Um, a belly. What color is it? Um, white and... White and green? Yeah. And it's a tail. I, lo I love how the, ta the tail skirts kind of match, too. But Whoa, this one's, so again, cool. this is very natural. In fact, the frogs that have been invading my pool look just like this. Woo! I know a lot of guys like that old brown and white frog, a little green, that old live target one. The coppers, that's a very similar one. But Man, these frogs are really soft. I know you guys have got to be getting bored, but I'm just excited. I'm, I'm not a huge frog fisherman. I love to do it. And I throw it probably more than I should, but... Um, I don't, I'm no Dean Rojas. Why do you prefer I'm not, I don't throw it as much as you like Ben Ben Milliken. So. As far as, no, they do not all have red mouths this because I've got flat. one right here that's straight up black mouth. This is my flat. Like. Hmm, that's, that's my flat. Ooh, look at that. Black, that's blue. That's blue and black. That is black magic in the Six Sense Frog. All black mouth. Dude, nasty. That's my favorite right there. I like a black frog, but a little red. black and blue, black magic. I mean, this is my I love how they've designed these. The blue is very reflective. Like, I'm looking at it on the stream. It's kind of like your tail lights in your vehicle when the light hits it, it shines up. Dude, that's that's nasty. And you know, if you're looking for a frog, can't figure out a color you want, dude, get black or get white. And then go crazy with whatever catch natural color you want. What do you think about that one, Neely? This one. You want this one? What you know what that is? Purple. It's purple. It's Jaint Juice. Jaint Juice. Jaint Juice. Can you say it, Neely? Yeah. Jaint Juice. Jaint Juice. Yeah. You like the Jaint Juice? Yeah. Look at that big one. Yeah. So I had to get me some Cloud Nine C15s and Jaint Juice. Neely likes that one. What color is that? Purple. Purple. It has it has red eyes and it has that's called chartreuse. Yeah, I have a chartreuse. Purple chartreuse. Yeah. yeah. So I had to get me some yeah, jaint juice, cloud nines. Um, Matter of fact, I got like four of them. So Coco the Beast. Oh my uh yeah, look at all the jaint juice up in here. 
I had should have had to get this many because that's how many Wait, Cole and Jay bought, so I couldn't let them run out here on my own color. So the Gillikin uh, Six Cents Frog is actually a yellow with a purple head and a purple butt, and it's kind of like Jane Juice. And I really need to see it in person, which I should have it in a day or two. But the skirt color is basically Baxter's bug that I throw in a jig. The motor oil was chartreuse, so I'm really excited for that one. So This never happens. The stars have aligned. I never catch you live. J-Rod, well, I'm live right now, baby. It's Wednesday, Bateman midday. And I'm just frogging out here uh, with my daughter. What? Bring me that purple one. You find another purple bait? Yeah. What do you got? You're finding all kinds of stuff in the bait room, aren't you? Oh. Oh, yeah. That's Daddy's little secret night spinner bait. Yeah. Can you say spinner bait? Spinner bait. Spinner bait. And it's purple. Dude, guys, this jewel jolt is an amazing night spinner bait. We're going to have a night show. Um, I found this one in my truck where I'd. And. Uh, Dude, this thing thumps very light wire. So that's mine. No, that's Daddy's. Yeah. But you can have any of this you want. Yeah. Are you gonna go fishing with me this week? Yeah. No. Do you want a Do you want a Barbie Barbie fishing pole? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I hear you. All right. So I don't have any frogs. Going to order some. What's the average weight of a frog bait? Probably about a half ounce, uh, up to maybe nine sixteenths. Now, some of your bigger frogs are heavy. Now, the Depths frogs, the Slither K and the Buster K are pretty light. They're less than a half an ounce. You can still throw them pretty good. Uh, but you should have no issues tossing this thing. Uh, my L deal frog setup uh, basically going to be a 7 foot 3 to 7 foot 4 heavy action rod, uh, fast tip. Uh, some guys like a moderate fast tip, uh, just so the frog uh, bass can swallow it. But we're gonna get into all this frog stuff Saturday night uh, on the channel. Now my wife is gonna be out of town, so it may be hectic in here. Uh, she's going to a bachelorette party. Uh, hopefully she doesn't find someone that's got more baits than me, because uh, she's not gonna find anybody with worm a worm as big as mine. But anyway, I got jokes. But anyway. Uh, my sister-in-law is getting married, so they got the bachelor party thing going, and it's going to be me and Bait Girl and Bait Junior. So, anyway, so any any questions you got? I see where Luke Duncan has got some news coming out tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spool it for you guys. He signed a deal with the Guggen Squad. Uh, we have lost Luke. He's going to be their official podcast host. And, uh, you know, some people sell out for any type of money. And uh, I'm kind of disappointed in, in Mr. Duncan over there. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, I won't say anything negative about Duncan because he is a volunteer fan. I can't hate on my fellow balls, but. No, I'm just kidding. I, I really don't know what Duncan's going to announce. Uh, I know there were some teasers about him being an announcer, possibly for the National Fishing League of Professional Anglers or whatever they call it, but I don't know if that's true or not. That would be my only guess, but I don't want to spoil anything from Luke. Well, for all I know, they fired a, a football announcer at Tennessee, and Luke's going to step in. I'd be cool with that. So, But... Uh, Y'all tune in to Low Budget Live, Not So Live. Maybe it will be live. It'll be podcasted tomorrow on Luke's channel. Um, so shout out to Mr. Duncan. Uh, good guy. I really like Luke. Maybe I need to have him on a uh, Bateman Midday. I'm sure he would do it. So, Not good news on Mr. Duncan. Listen, uh, Duncan really ain't joining the Guggen Squad. I, I hope y'all know I wasn't being serious. So. What's up, Best Bank Robbers? Now that guy catches some some big fish. The Jackal Obi Frog is great. They just do not make it anymore. Uh, John Cox won a pile of money on that thing. 
Dude, Sean Law, thank you so much for the $10. Make you holla. Appreciate that donation. That will definitely get Neely some ice cream money. She loves ice cream. Come here, Neely. Guess what? Come here. You guys say, say thank you for the $10. She's out playing outside now, so. But she, ice cream is her favorite thing in the world. But I appreciate that, Sean La. Uh, hopefully, uh, we're going to have a really good stream Saturday. I've got, we're going to cover popping frogs, walking frogs, mat frogs, hybrid frogs, plastic frogs, like your Zoom, horny toad, the gambler cane toad, and whatnot, so. Dude, I'm trying to do more vids. I like doing regular videos, too. Uh, I'm trying to mix that in. I may upload one Friday. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't catch a lot of fish. It was pretty tough. Uh, I've talked about that. So, uh, I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that only upload videos when I only catch fish. Uh, I like to do cool stuff as well. Um, I, I want to take my kids to this nature center that's got snakes and, and reptiles uh, well, snakes are reptiles. Um, basically, the local reptilian wildlife. And I would like to uh, vlog it, but I don't know if I really want to put that on the bait channel. Because I don't want to get all my stuff confused. I kind of want to stick to baits on here and tackle hunting and, and fishing. Um, but I thought about starting a second channel that's more of like the bait family. So, Baitman Jr. says he wants to do a YouTube channel and he wants to teach kids. Uh, colors and numbers and all that stuff and use baits and said cool Joe tip we are gonna get to pull baits it's rained a lot here and I had to clean out a lot of algae and I'm working on that again today before I go to bed uh, but we are gonna get some pull baits going NRX 852 is a little bit soft for a frog rod uh, 850 uh, I would go with the 854 at least What is my fro favorite frog bait? My favorite frog at the moment is the Jackal Gavacho. I love that frog. It walks so good. It has a great hookup. Um, I'm a big fan of the Old School Spro. Um, what little I fished of the Six Sense Frog, it's going to be right up there too. You know, I, I feel very confident I can put together an amazing frog box and I can pick up anything I want to and, and feel confident about it. So. But I would not hesitate to throw this right now in a tournament for a million dollars. Dude, uh, Geek Crack has some really, really cool stuff. They sent me some stuff. You may have to go on some past videos. I don't know if I upload. They sent me a lot of stuff on here. So, And, and dude, they make the Bellow Stick is an amazing Nico rig bait. It is awesome. Gabbit Frog, I got one, man. I, I like it pretty well. I want to... I wish I had my frog box in here. Uh, that Ding Dong from the Guggen Squad, their manager that made the comment that this was the Mega Bass frog could not be farther from the truth. In fact, they don't even know they're knocking off other people's baits. Actually, they do know they're knocking off other people's stuff. But anyway. Yep, 854s would work for a frog. i tell you a good one. I think it's the 870... It's either 874 or 873. It's the Carolina rig rod is a hey, good frog a rod. And uh, my buddy Ben Parker uses a 916 umbrella rig rod. The good thing about NRX, they're hey, so I light. You, candy you got candy in there? Yeah. Let me see. Okay. There ain't no candy in there. Yeah, there is. No, there's not. It's all gone. No, it's not. It is all gone. No. Yeah, it's no. all gone. You ate it all. No. Yeah. It's all gone, Niels. See? <gasps> no, it's all gone. No. Yep. No. She is mad. She is big mad. Uh-oh. Bye-bye. Hey, take your Pez dispenser with you, okay? Hey. She is big mad that her candy's all gone. All right. Uh, Trey Lawrence. The Pony Gabbit's a good one. I need to get one of those. What is up, Trey Lawrence? Good to see you on here, my man. So, The PB Dad. These live streams during the day give you something to do at work. I appreciate it. The $5 make you holla. 
Uh, I tell you what's going to be fun is if we get to play some college football and you can see me rant on Sundays after the Vols do their thing. Uh, matter of fact, one of the silliest things I've seen is a South Carolina fan and was talking smash on the Vols on Twitter yesterday. And I'm like, you really going to talk crap to a team that beat you by 21 points? Oh, okay. Um even better was the Kentucky fan that was already saying, uh, can't wait to play Tennessee. We're going to smash them this year. Uh, okay, you beat us twice in like 40 years. Good luck with that. That's what I'm excited. Hopefully we get to play uh, some college football, uh, SEC. Uh, I'm ready. So, anyway, guys have been on about 40 minutes or whatnot. I got, I'm got. i going to have to make one of them thumbnail things, you know. Um and I got to go to sleep. So we'll stream about 10 more minutes. Anyone? Oh, no. Whoa. J-Rod, let's see. Let's answer this question. Anyone see any notable difference between the newest Tatula 100 Zero Adjust and the Tatula CT? Um, I'll be honest. Um, the 100 can throw a little bit farther than the CT. The CT does have a bigger handle. Uh, it's a little bit bigger frame. Um, if I was going to frogfish, I would probably, uh, go with the CT. It's got a little bit deeper spool, uh, or step up and go to the 150. It's a lot beefier brass gears. You can't use the SV for frog fishing, which I would, because I like a small reel. I can palm it a lot better, but you're basically going to despoil the line about every cast. Um, I am going to tell you guys this, and I shoot you guys straight all the time. If y'all remember that crazy China reel uh, that I had on here that's like the iridescent colors, I'm just going to be honest. It is the furthest casting reel I own. It is crazy how far it will freaking launch a frog or a vixen. Matter of fact, it threw the six Sense Dogmas I almost despooled the whole reel. It's a little loud and heavy, but this son of a gun will cast. Uh, it'll wear you out because it's, it's heavy, but, dude, I, I'm just, just saying, I am blown away at the distance this thing will cast. Now, when it comes to everyday use, I'm going to go with Shimano or Mandawa, but I'm having fun playing with this reel. It's kind of crazy. So, You need to go inside, Nils? But... Uh, Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here, and uh, i got to get up on Tackle Warehouse because if I don't get that order in quickly, I can't get it here by Saturday. So, um, anyway, you guys, make sure you hit the thumbs up if you like Bateman uh, midday. Uh, we'll try to keep doing it. Uh, I'll try to get a podcast up tomorrow or something, uh, and then maybe a video Friday. Just I've got a lot of stuff going on as far as TV production. Uh, with Mark Menendez, so some of my normal upload stuff's going to be pushed back. Um, that, that, that's a big deal for me. You know, I, I make money at that. That's my second job. So, anyway, I'll probably give you all some free previews of two of his local TV show as well. So, anyway, if you're new, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, I'm glad you guys join me here at lunch. Uh, I'm going to go grab a little bit. I'm going to make the thumbnail, and uh, I believe I'm going to go take me a little nappy nap. So thanks again, guys, for joining in. Uh, check out Six Cents Fishing. Use my code BATEMAN to get 10% off or BATEMAN SUPER6 to get that Super 6 sack $10 off. So go grab you some frogs. Go grab you some big braided sunline. I like sunline. What else? And uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks again for joining